Good morning, folks. Quick look at the notable quakes from the last day. A 5.5 hit Azerbaijan. Four-pointer's been rocking Greece all weekend, and a five-pointer hit central Peru. It was a weekend of elections. The Iranians sent a message to Ahmadinejad, but more importantly, Sarkozy is on his way out. Both the French and the Greeks made big moves against German-led austerity this weekend. The people will not yield. The new plan to fix the debt apparently involves a lucky rabbit's foot and prayer. I doubt the United States will be anything different. Our civilization truly may collapse before the sun has a chance to go apeshit. A bit of good news to follow that up. That whale that has been caught in our buoys is finally free and on his way. SpaceX will make their cargo run to the ISS on May 19th if all goes as planned. This article is for the nerds like me discussing climactic response to solar minima. Weather.com has this article showing how a bit of bad luck, poor financing, and a host of other circumstances is about to leave us less able to track severe weather. Speaking of severe weather, Torcon should be updated within the hour. Make sure you check it out. This is their initial thoughts on severe weather for today. Space weather? What space weather? It has been quiet for days, but you can see that the Earth is still resounding from temporal variation at multiple frequencies. Active region 11471 is leaving the party as the large coronal hole turns to face Earth with the madness trailing behind her. You can see just how big that coronal hole is here. There's actually another one coming behind it, moving in tandem with the primary active region just to the north of it. You may remember we called for that sunspot to be changed from beta to beta gamma. We know we have uh, Noah's proper classification here. You can see it's big. The polar regions are distributed throughout the sunspots. Can't really group them together. There may even be multiple delta spots forming in the middle. You can bet that this flurry of M flares from this weekend is probably not the last you've seen of her. Wrapping up, you know the drill. Turning off the atmosphere, we can see Jupiter creeping behind the sun for a solar conjunction coming up May 13th. Afterwards, moving in towards Mercury as the moon swings in to two-step past both of them and transit the sun two weeks before Venus does in a spectacular solar eclipse that many of you will see. That's the news, folks. Be safe.